guys, John here with CRMD, and today we're going to take a look at creating a new user in your instance of Salesforce. So a pretty common question that we get, and it's actually pretty simple and something that a lot of admins or someone who's somewhat familiar with Salesforce would be able to navigate on their own. So looking at this here, a user is anyone who logs into Salesforce to access your data. So we're gonna just use like, let's just use the example of an employee in your company or a colleague of yours. Maybe it's somebody new who's coming in and starting to work for you and you'd like to make sure that they have access to Salesforce. So looking at this here, some points to remember, and we'll go through this actually in the user screen, the user setup screen, but the username needs to be unique across all of Salesforce. So not just your company, it needs to be unique across any instance of somebody creating a username in Salesforce. So that's something to keep in mind. Email, the email can be the same. So you could have somebody who has the same email in multiple different instances. Um, that's okay, it's just the username that you, needs to be unique. Passwords, it's going to send a login link, if you ask it to, to the new user. So if you send it to the new user's email address, they're able to fill out their own password and enter it in themselves. So we'll show you how to do that here, uh, right in the user setup, and you'll be able to get your users started right away in Salesforce. Look at the setup here in an actual Salesforce instance. Uh, so right now we're on the home screen for Salesforce Lightning. Uh, so the first place we want to go is the setup menu. So uh, let's go over to this little gear wheel in the upper right hand corner and click on it and click setup. And waiting for it to load, if we go into uh, the quick find box here, we can actually see at the top of the list it's users. So I'm just going to click there and I'm going to click on this users box here. And in this developer or you can see that there's uh, one, two, three, four, five users already. Uh, so I just wanna create a new user as an example here. Uh, you can see some of the options here at the top. I can create a new user. I can reset the passwords uh, for the organization. I can select them to see you know, who I wanna reset passwords. If you had a security issue, uh, you can reset your passwords involved like that. Or you can add multiple users uh, as an option as well. For this today, I'm just gonna select uh, add a new user and you can see that this screen pops up here the new user screen and there are some required fields uh, so just going through it uh, first name last name is actually a required field so I'm just going to add the name of Smith here and that's going to auto populate an alias uh, and then the next selection here is the email so for my email I'm just going to write jsmith at crmd.io and that's going to pop, populate a username. And I'm actually going to add a few extra numbers to the username. Uh, like we talked about before in the, on the uh, whiteboard, you need to have a unique username. Uh, so, and just to make sure, and to make sure that we'll never need to use this username, I'm just gonna add those numbers at the, at the back end of that. Uh, so it looks like everything else here is auto-populated, nickname Jay Smith, that's for the Salesforce internally. Um, looking through the boxes, I also need to select uh, a user license. So for this, I'm just going to select, uh, looks like I can select Salesforce platform for my developer work. Hopefully if I click save, everything will go through. I'm not sure how many licenses I have with this uh, setup here. So I'm just gonna click save. And everything went through smoothly. So I can reset the password. Um, at the bottom here, I can reset password. Reset password for this user and click OK. And a new password has been sent to the user. Um, you can see the email address I put in there. So it'll send a reset password link to that email address and be able to set their password and a unique link so they'll be able to log in with that after they reset their password. So very simple steps to create a new user. And uh, again, if you have any questions, we're happy to help you out, but something you'd probably be able to handle on your own. And um, sign people up to use your organization. Thank you.